Well, well, well. A lot of things happened today. We had Panda Global's public announcement of the Panda Cup, and also today is a day that the Multiverses Alpha is over. That's right, the Multiverses Alpha is no more. It will not come back until July. When it does come back in July, it will be an open beta for all systems except for the Switch. The game is awesome. So far, I've played it extensively with my friends, and we have a lot of hit a lot of clips with them. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of content coming out over the next few weeks until the open beta is back. Some things I wanted to talk about were real quick things that were just on my mind that I wanted to just get off my chest and make a video real quick now that the multiverses alpha is over. So one thing I wanted to point out is projectiles are king. If your character can throw projectiles or use spells, a lot of them, and use them in succession, you're going to have a good time. If you play Ryan Dog, you play Bugs Bunny, you play Tom and Jerry, all these characters, they have really insane projectiles and do a lot of damage as well. So projectiles are king in this, meaning a lot of people play Velma and they'll run away. And I think it's really interesting to play the game because before the first alpha there was no projectiles being swung all the time and now in this alpha there was a bunch of people using projectiles which i think they're probably gonna get tuned more but i think it's a really solid strategy to play projectile characters anything projectile based i think is really strong right now and if you pick up a projectile character such as those three i mentioned earlier they're pretty much like the top tier in my mind we'll probably go over some more video stuff about like what the buzz's thoughts were i saw he did a tier list on it and i'll do my own tier list too 1v1s i wanted to say real quick to my thoughts on 1v1s i think 1v1s aren't bad but like i said earlier projectile characters are going to be king so you're going to be wanting to pick projectiles into 1v1s and you'll just win pretty much by running away and camping it'll be interesting to see how they deal with that but there are a lot of abilities that help you get refreshes and stuff on cooldown or on like projectile hit and you get like armor on something so i'd imagine it's doable as me playing shaggy and reaching top 500 in 1v1s I realized that it really does come down to just outplaying the person, so sometimes it doesn't matter that they have projectiles if you understand how to play the game. Now in 2v2s, it's a different story. 1v1 perks, I think, matter more because you have to maximize the amount of perks that you're using. You can't use the same exact ones every time that you'll be using in doubles unless it's like a certain strategy or a stat. 2v2s, I wanted to talk about that next, and I'm gonna say, guys, Doubles is insanely fun. I think doubles, I'm so glad that they made it the main focus of the game because it's one of those things where like the game is actually insanely fun in that atmosphere. Doubles is already fun in other games, but in this atmosphere where you guys have a strategy and you guys can team up together to dunk, they didn't put any team damage on, which is also an interesting choice for them. Obviously, there's a lot of assist moves that different teams, compositions can have and different synergies can have. I personally enjoyed every single character that I played. I played almost every single one and I had played every single one in the last alpha 2. I don't understand some characters still like Arya. I don't understand her a lot, but a lot of the other ones I do. And I wanted to talk about tournaments. I've already done like two or three. I can't remember how many we did. We were going to do four. When we did the tournaments, they were all very fun. And it was interesting because based on the bands and based on everything, it's just like how it is in Smash Ultimate, except if you win, you have to let the, the team who lost know that you are changing perks. And you have to let them know which perks you're changing. And you have to let them know what set list you're going with or what perk list you're going with. It has to be the same exact one. Otherwise, you have to announce it so that they can counter pick you. So it's a very interesting process. I didn't really think it would make that much of a difference, but it made a pretty huge difference, I would say. Let's talk about the map. So because we play tournament mode and obviously tournament went really smoothly in all fronts I just think that it's gonna come down to the maps the legal maps that were in rotation the FD form of training stage is a legal map bat cave is also a legal map as well as the classic three platform Which basically is just triplat and smash ultimate then we have tree fort it's a bit, it's pretty much like dreamland in terms of how big it is and we have trophies edge as the last legal map and I am I actually really enjoy them because it's kind of like Town and City or, or Smashville almost. But those are the legal maps in rotation. You get one man if you win, two bands if you are like first striking or doing the first strikes. Comps are really going to be the tell all, which is going to be insane because the more comps you guys come up with, the more strategy you come up with, the better off you would be in tournament. But I suggest sort of like League of Legends where you have one to two comps that you can run comfortably three if you really feel like you can run those i would say competitively the game held up pretty well despite a lot of the projectile spam i actually got used to it and i thought it wasn't that bad after a while because you can in fact fight it with your dodges and combat it too if you have projectiles it's one of those games where i think they are pretty strong right now so probably if you're picking up a character i would suggest looking into one of the projectile characters or top tiers guys right, it's about it i think i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching the videos and hanging out in the streams and watching the content for multiverses that we've been putting
starting out. The game's going to be open beta in July, and I'm going to be playing that again. And the channel will be focused mostly on multiverses with a Smash focus. We are a platform fighting channel, so I'm excited to keep that going with you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming out and doing that with me and checking out this latest video. Next time you guys see me, it might be a tier list or it might be like tournament runs. We'll see. There's going to be a lot of multiverses content coming out near you soon. So be ready, and I'll see you guys again in the future. If you like what you've done to Scene Soldier, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Ooh. If you like what you've done, darn scene, make sure you like and subscribe so I can see you next time, soldier. And if you want to fight me, see me in my streams. Goodbye. I love you, patrons.